Wow, I did not know that. Greetings and welcome back to another British Guy Reacts video. And in this video, a British guy is going to be reacting to British versus American dental care. I'm here fighting the British corner. If you are new to the channel and you like reaction videos, then don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on because I'm posting every Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. As always, links in the description for Lawrence Brown of Lost in the Pond. Now listen my jibber jabber, let's get on with it. I started asking myself, what does DDS stand for? Well, it turns out that it's Doctor of Dental Surgery and not Dewey Decimal System, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to pause straight away, but that's right, they call dentists doctors, don't they? Over here, we, we don't really call dentists doctors, just dentists, really. But um, yeah, I'll shut up. Hi. It's been a challenging week. For those of you that don't know, I was laid down by some strangers in masks and had body parts removed. I had my wisdom teeth extracted. Sorry, that joke probably didn't play well with my mom. And believe it or not, after 13 years living in the United States, this was my first ever visit to an American dentist. And I know what you're thinking, oh, wow. Lawrence, that is a very long time to be running scared from the dentist. But the truth is, I haven't been running scared. I just, I didn't have the money. But now that I've mm. started to get my teeth into my career, I figured now would be a good time to get them checked out. And after preliminary visits, it was determined that I still had three wisdom teeth that needed extracting. Oh, Ella, yeah, hi. No, no it went really well, uh, considering it was the most painful thing I've ever done. <laughs> yep, e even more than the hippopotamus incident of 1996. Well, no, I mean, they injected me first to numb the pain. You know, th this isn't the Middle Ages. Now, I went into this visit with the preconceived notions that most of us have about American versus British teeth. In other words, I thought I was going to emerge from this visit looking like a deep fake of Tom Cruise. Sadly, or <laughs> thankfully, that hasn't happened. But while the dentist was busy sticking a needle that long through my gums, it did get me thinking about those cross-cultural differences. Firstly, are British teeth as bad as some people, not me, have suggested? I will just pause it there. It is most noticeable. If you see a lot of British TV programmes or if they're interviewing people that are from Britain, yeah, the teeth do look really bad. I will say in our defence, it's very, very expensive to have any kind of cosmetic dentistry. You're, you're talking tens of thousands of pounds. You're probably talking like 30, 30 to 40 thousand dollars if you wanted your teeth all done. It is very, very expensive. However, clean twice a day, floss and all that oral harm hygiene things as well and don't be scared of the dentist. Let's set the record straight. The answer to that question is no. Sure, many of us might have yellow or crooked teeth, but this doesn't necessarily amount to bad teeth. In fact, a 2015 study found that British teeth were as healthy, if not healthier, than their American counterparts. Wow, I did not know that. I know that like, the cosmetic dentistry is a big thing in the US and it is uh, coming over here more so with the younger younger generation. They're going for like full veneers. I don't know how these kids afford it, but it's a big thing now. Um, beauty, pump, plump lips, pouting, but they've got like massive shiny teeth and that sort of like, ah, oh, look at me. I just had some Botox. Hello, I just had my teeth done too. Um, so there is a lot of that kind of vanity in there. I do feel sorry for kids because there's so much pressure to look a certain way and TV programs. Everyone's like, Pff. I mean, I'm wearing this vest. We call them vests. I know you guys call them tank tops. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm wearing this, not because I think I'm big and tough, because quite clearly I'm not. Uh, it's just that I'm bloody hot. It's, we're having a bit of a heat wave over here. Nothing compared to you guys, but we don't actually have air conditioning in houses. We have windows. I was really, really surprised about that. I admit, it is easy to see why Americans think that we Brits don't take care of our teeth. After all, in America, there is a greater emphasis on aesthetics. From a relatively early age, the straightening of American teeth is achieved through the implementation of braces. And while these are not completely absent from the mouths of British kids, they're nowhere near as prevalent. Mm. And the weird thing is, now that the anaesthetic's wearing off, it's nowhere near as painful as people predicted. Yeah, it's sort of like how you feel when you've got eight cold sores or you devour pistachios with an inappropriate amount of gusto and with the shell still on. And then there's the question <laughs> of teeth whitening. According to the market research company Mintel, 14%, yeah. that's 45 million Americans, say that they've had professional teeth whitening. Only 3% of Brits can say the same thing. But this isn't just down to Americans prioritizing aesthetics. It also seems to be down to America's considerably looser regulation around teeth whitening. Oh, wow. I'll tell you now, mate, one of the absolute best things about having your teeth extracted is you get to live like a kid. 
Morning! Sorry about that. Are you there? Now, given all of the well-documented talk around the difference between healthcare costs in the United States and Britain, I expected that dentistry would be much the same. Well, it turns out that that depends on a couple of factors. For instance, in the United States, depending on your level of insurance, a straightforward, uncomplicated wisdom tooth extraction might cost anywhere between $100 and $300 per tooth. If yeah, over here, it's about 200 quid. I'm not on the NHS over here. I go private. And it's not because I've got lots of money. It's just that the NHS dentist care isn't isn't the greatest to be honest whereas if you go private they're really thorough and if you haven't been flossing properly they tell you off so you almost get bullied into doing it which is a great thing because it's really sort of up my game and the hygienist as well as well as regular checkups but yeah over here it's about two 220 pounds for one tooth extraction if you're on the nhs it might be about 100 pounds it's more complicated in that the tooth takes longer to extract you're talking between $350 and $700. In the UK, it really depends whether you're eligible for treatment on the NHS or if you go with a private practice. Under the former, you would only pay the equivalent of $62. US So I've got to pause that. That sound just goes through me. Actually, that's just in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yeah. In England, it's more like $90, £65. Pounds. Yeah, I guess between $65 and £100, pounds, depending where you are, really. And that's not per tooth, that covers all extractions. The trade-off though is that in this instance, the NHS cannot offer the quality of service provided by private practitioners. Try saying that mm. after 12 whiskies. Because of this, many Brits opt to go private where the cost of a routine wisdom tooth extraction is roughly in the same ballpark as what you would pay in the United States. But if we're talking about those horrible, complicated extractions, private costs can rise to anywhere between $1,300 and $2,800. Thankfully, in instances like this, for those that are eligible, hospital surgery is free under the National Health Service. Well, what I mean is for the next two days, I intend to kick back in bed with a cup of coffee and do no work, except for this video. <laughs> again, yeah, we do say it's free, but again, sure, I'll be reminded it's not actually free because we pay for it in our taxes. But anyway, I'll shut up. But that is easy because I just film myself in bed and then I have to edit it as well and do the color grading. It's actually, it is actually a lot of work and I shouldn't be doing this. Don't tell my dentist or my wife. Now, when I were a young lad, I used to watch a lot of wrestling. And at some point in time, there was a wrestler who took on the characteristics what? of a villainous dentist. His name, Isaac Yankum, DDS. Yank. 90s wrestling is how I became who I am. But as soon as his hilarious name stopped splitting my sides, I started asking myself, what does DDS stand for? Well, it turns out that it's Doctor of Dental Surgery and not Dewey Decimal System. That's something else. In Britain, we don't have this initialism, but we do have one that comes close. A lot of British dentists will have the letters BDS under their names, and this stands for Bob Dylan Songbook. No <laughs> Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Could I get a bloody ice pack? This is killing me. All right, all right, all right, Wills. Well, say hello to Kate. Wills. Yeah, yeah. All right, me old mucker. Bye, bye. <laughs> so what did you think of the video do you think all us brits have awful teeth i really enjoyed this one it is really really interesting the differences it is well known and well documented that uh, the british teeth aren't always brilliant white and straight i really do think it just comes down to money having that extra cash to do that or save up and do that and have them all done or have them corrected i have had braces and a bit of whitening because i do drink a lot of black coffee when i did drink i used to drink a lot of red wine curry as well and that all stains your teeth so yes i have done that but it is bloody expensive and it looks like it's the same for you guys i look at some tv programs and it's funny um i was talking to my sister the other day and she said it's most noticeable when you see british maybe news or something or they're interviewing someone it's sort of like but it's really interesting, the health of the teeth are just as good, which is a great thing. So it's more the aesthetic, so like the straightening of the teeth and the whitening of the teeth. But it is, as I said, very, very expensive over here. But again, you know, looking at the numbers, it's the same as what you guys pay. So um, really, really interesting. Again, if you're new to the channel and you like reaction videos for British guy talking nonsense, then don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on because I am posting every Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. If you'd like to support the channel, even even more, we do have a join and members section. Check out the link in the pinned comments for all the fun pack perks. And all that leaves are me to say, Mr. H, 
and friends. Is take care, God bless. See y'all in the next video.